Hello dear students, this is Muhammad Shahnawaz, a state teacher, Jalalabad BL High School, Dr. Shurma Silet. Dear students, again I am here for the students of class 7 with a lesson from your EFT. Dear students, at the very beginning I would like to show you a picture. So please see the picture on the screen. Dear students, I think uh, you have seen the picture. Can you say what's the picture about? Yes, the picture is about a train journey. So dear students, you can guess that what I am going to discuss today. Yes, I am going to discuss today traveling by train to. Dear students, now the thing that you have to do, you have to open your EFT and open the page number uh, 58 unit 6 lesson 5 section B and read the passage in section B and when you will be reading the passage definitely you will get some key words or some unknown words so let me discuss on the words that may create a little bit problem for you to understand the passage. So please, let me discuss on the words. Dear students, let's be introduced with some new words. Departure. Departure. Can you say what is the meaning of departure? Please look at the picture and try to guess the meaning. Departure means leaving or the act of leaving a place. Students, now let's make a sentence with the word departure. Our departure was delayed because of bad weather. Now look at another word, empty. Empty. Can you say what is the meaning of empty? Please look at the picture and try to guess the meaning. Empty means vacant or unoccupied. Let's try to make a sentence with the word empty. The hall was empty. Students look at another word print out. Print out. Try to say what is the meaning of print out. Look at the picture and try to guess the meaning. Print out means a printed record. Students, let's try to make a sentence with the word print out. He gifted me a print out of my family picture. Dear students, I think you have gone through the whole passage very carefully and understood the passage very well. But you know, I am not so brilliant like you. So I can't understand the passage very well. That's why I would like to read the passage once again. So please, let me read the passage and read the passage with me once again. Dear learners, let's read about our train journey. Jishan, Julie and their parents, Mr. and Mrs. Arif Khan, got into a first class compartment at Kamalapur railway station. It was the Wanganj bound Tista Express. The train left at 8 o'clock. Jishan saw that the departure time on the big timetable at the station was 7.30. However, the train was running quite first. The children sat by the window beside their parents. The compartment was half empty. Yesterday, Julie downloaded a beautiful poem on a train journey by Robert Louis Stevenson. 
She took a printout of the poem. Now, while looking out of the windows, she found similarities between the poem and the real scenario. She took out the poem and began to read. Dear students, I think you have understood the passage very well and this time I have also understood the passage very well. Now, see on the screen. You can see there are two questions here and the answers are also available here. But there are four answers available here. The thing that we have to do, we have to choose the best answer from the four alternatives. So please look at the first question. The first question is the poem that Julie downloaded was written by. The poem that Julie downloaded was written by. That means we have to find out the correct answer from the four alternatives. You can see there are four alternatives as well. What are the alternatives? A. Robert Louis Stevenson B. Jishan C. Julie and D. None of them If you read the passage very well Definitely, you will find that the poem that Julie downloaded was written by Robert Louis Stevenson. So, the best answer is Robert Louis Stevenson. The students now look at the next question. The question is, the word compartment means, the word Compartment means and there are four alternatives as well. So let me read the four alternatives. A. Department B. Apartment C. Chamber and D. Complement Now we have to choose the best answer from the four alternatives. Can you say What's the best answer? Yes, you are my brilliant students. I know very well. You know what's the best answer because you have understood the passage very well. So, the best answer is Chamba. The best answer is Chamba. It means the meaning of compartment is Chamba. Dear students, now look at the third question. The question is, who are the passengers mentioned in the passage? Who are the passengers mentioned in the passage? And you can see the four alternatives as well. And the alternative answers are A. Jishan B. Julie C. Mr. and Mrs. Arif Khan and D. All above. Just think for a minute and think what's the correct answer. Excellent. The correct answer is all above. Why? If you read the passage very well, you will see that the Passengers that mentioned in the passage were Jishan, Julie, Mr. and Mrs. Arif Khan. So, A, B, C, all are correct. But we can't choose three. We have to choose one answer. That's why the best answer is all above. All above. Dear students, now look at the Fourth question. Tista Express was the name of a dash. Tista Express was the name of a dash. That means we have to say 
what kind of vehicle the deed they used to travel let me discuss on the four alternatives as well a steamer b train c airplane and d bus now we have to choose which one is the correct answer so please think for a while and try to answer what is the best very good the best answer is train that means the vehicle that they used to travel was a train so Tista Express was the name of a train my dear students now look at the fifth question the antonym of the word MT is dash the antonym of the word MT is dash that means we have to choose the best answer from the alternative and we have to say what's the antonym or the opposite meaning of the word empty so please let me read the four alternative answers a vacant b cool c occupied and b blank the thing that we have to do we have to find out the best answer from the four alternatives can you say what's the antonym or the opposite meaning of the word empty excellent the opposite meaning of the word empty is occupied so the best answer is occupied the students now look at the sixth question the sixth question is Tista Express started for Tista Express started for that means we have to say what's the destination of Tista Express now let me say the four alternatives A Dhaka B Dawanganj C Kamalapur D Nowhere that means we have to say what's the best answer from the four alternatives so to find the answer once again you have to read the passage and if you read the passage you will find that what's the best answer very good the destination of Tista Express was Dawan Gonj so our correct answer is B Dawan Gonj dear students now look at the seventh question the seventh question is when was the train supposed to leave the station when was the train supposed to leave the station that means was the accurate time to start we have to choose the time that was accurate to start let me read the four alternative answers a at 7 15 a.m b at 7 30 a.m c at 8 a.m and d at 8 30 a.m can you say what's the accurate time to start yes the accurate time to start was at 7 30 a.m though the train started at 8 but the accurate time was at 7 30 a.m so dear students the correct alternative is b at 7 30 a.m dear students now look at the eighth question what did julie download what did julie download let me read the four alternative answers a 
a song b a poem c a picture and d a movie can you say what's the best answer what did julie download yes julie, julie download downloaded a poem so the best answer is b a poem dear students look at the screen once again and see the question number 9 she found similarities dash the poem and the real scenario she found similarities dash the poem and the real scenario and let me read the uh, four alternatives as well the four alternative answers are a among b between c to and d off can you say what is the best answer yes the best answer is between actually it is a grammatical term and we have to use a prep preposition here which preposition is appropriate here as there are two parties a poem the poem and the real scenario and if we want to say something uh, between two we have to use between as the preposition so the correct answer is between now look at the question number 10 however the train was running quite first here the word word quite refers to these students in your passage you have found a sentence like this however the train was running quite fast and in this sentence you can see there are a term quite and now you have to see you have to say what's the meaning of quite or what does quite refer to let me say the four uh, alternative answers a quite b come c very and d partly can you say was the best answer was the meaning of quite yes the meaning of quite is very that means the train was running quite fast means the train was running very fast so here the best answer is very dear students uh, i tried to uh, discuss on 10 multiple choice questions and you have done excellent and you have uh, answered all of the questions now i'd like to give you some homework for the next day the home the homework is you have to answer six questions it's called open ended question you have to read the passage once again very well and you have to answer these five questions let me read out the questions one why are all the seats in the compartment taken where all the seats in the compartment taken two where did jishan sit where did jishan sit c three where was the train going where was the train going d did the train leave kamalapur station late or on time did the train leave Kamalapur railway station late or on time? Question number five. Where did Julie get the poem from? Where did Julie get the poem from? And the question number six. What was Julie doing from her seat? What was Julie doing from her seat? you have to write the answer of these six questions 
and please send me the answers as soon as possible I will assess you answer script and send you back thank you very much students for staying with me I hope you will stay well and stay safe thank you very much